Yeah. All right, and we're live. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Shout out to Rosalind Smichael. Thank you for being the first one in this morning. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra special, big up. Shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to the drivers. Shout out to the Uber driver, Lyft driver, truck driver, taxi driver, food delivery drivers, round town and long distance truck drivers. Shout out to the crossing guards. Shout out to the school teachers. Shout out to law enforcement personnel, medical field personnel. Shout out to the AC techs, construction workers, heavy equipment operators. Shout out to the lawyers and doctors, Indian chief chefs in the kitchen, secretaries in the offices. Shout out to whatever it is your job description is. Shout out to you. Extra special shout out to the people then with a clean heart, clear conscience that want good for others. As much as you want good for yourself, you're a good person. Shout out to you. Manners and respect to everybody tuning in this morning. Big up yourself. And here we are about to have a festive, a festive morning this morning. Listen up. Ah, oh boy. Me drive like a truck driver. Extra special shout out to them truck drivers out there. Me and wife did this trip together with the kids and whatnot. And as much as we made it cool for the kids, because, you know, the vehicle was big in the back. You lay down all the seats, put them blanket and them pillows and entertain them along the way. And then they have their tablets and toys and whatever. For us or for me, it was like straight driving. And, you know, wifey was like, man, I commend and give respect to every person who does this for a living. Because we see all the trucks on the road, right? So when y'all hear me say, like, shout out to all the drivers out there, Uber driver, Lyft driver, truck driver, long distance drivers. Yes, man, that work, they're rough. So big up to the truck driver, them out there, especially the over road truck drivers. I don't know how to do it, brother. Because I have to stop. My body jar, them start cramp up after. <laughs> <laughs> after after every so many miles, my message on them start crump up and I got to stop. And I start getting paranoid too. I'm thinking blood clot might be forming somewhere and all these things. But yeah, I went and got my smile fixed. I don't know if y'all noticed that, uh, you know, uh, over here, so I did crack up some oxtail bone because that's just the Caribbean in me, particularly the Clarendon Jamaican in me. I bite up chicken bone, fine, 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 and, you know, oxtail bone, and whatever the bone is where I try to get into the bone. I need to stop that, though, because it's not good. So, <laughs> and it costs you in the end. Um, and, yeah, somebody have some broke up teeth and these things, and I had to go fix them. Uh, I mean, I will try. I will try not to bite any more bones. So long, so long I watch TV, you know, I mean, I get into the program when I watch. My wife is there taking a show. And she looked at me and she was like, are you chewing bone? Just get my teeth done. Are you chewing bone? And me, right when she said that, you know, me just hear crunch. I didn't even want to go look in the mirror because I already know what did happen. And so I've been smiling like that for a while with the one gone by the side. Yeah, so. But we got that fixed. So shout out to T out in, um, out in Atlanta. Made Atlanta and for the people them who want to get your smile fixed. Because we said take care of yourself, right? We're big people now. And we've been on earth for quite some time. So we have to go do some maintenance, right? Uh, take care of yourself. The same way how you take care of the vehicle. You get your oil changed. You put on new tires. You get new spark plugs. Get new air filter. Get new this, that, and that. Make sure the vehicle don't leave you on the side of the road. This body right here. Is the one body that the Almighty gave you to take you through life. So you have to go take care of it and do your little maintenance here and there and these kind of things. For those of you who want my link to my guy who does superior work, then hit me up offline. All right. It's not a man that put out his address because he doesn't want a bunch of people just showing up at his door. His stuff is very organized and you have to go through a system. A uh, matter of fact, him say, he said yesterday that for the first time I watched your videos, I didn't even know that that's who you were. As I walked in there yesterday and he was like, I think about five or six people so far have come in here and said that they got um, information from you to come to me. So shout out to y'all who took the info, hit me up offline and went there and actually got your work done. And I'm telling the rest of y'all that we have a hookup, a link. Uh, I don't know if I did see my teeth them before. And I just 
because I wasn't into teeth and I'm not a vanity person. But you know, after a while in life, you don't set everything already else straight. So you're like, okay, time to do a little something for myself now. And then I went and did that. And I'm loving it. You know, I love the smile now. I know me I go smile. Me right. <laughs> me I smile for no reason now. So yeah, I have the link and I'll give you the link offline. All right, so you can too go do your maintenance and get yourself smiling and looking well. All right, here we are this morning. Hail all family, Mervyn the Point, Jamaica, Kerr, Ros Rosalind, Michael, Sharon Spence is in the building, 5063, all the way from the UK. Ferran, big up yourself. Thank you for being here. King Biggs is in the building with us this morning. King Biggs says, cool smile. Cool smile till me bite piece of bone. Roxy 21. Audrey writes in the building, says hit the thumbs up as you enter. Marcia Walters is here. Prelis 123. Darling Walter Riley. Miss Goldie Robinson is in the building. Audrey writes here with us. Present teacher. King Big says morning fam. Lovely Aneka. Lovely Aneka is in the building. Please go over to Lovely Aneka's channel. She is right here in our chat. Just hit her name, Lovely Aneka. Go over there. Hit the sub button. I'll come right back. I appreciate all of you who do these things that we ask y'all to do. It ain't much, but it's us supporting each other, right? Lovely Aneka, big up yourself. I appreciate you so much, and I thank you so much. My wife stays on Lovely Aneka's content, and we were talking, coming back from Atlanta yesterday, and I said, I feel so bad because, you know, I don't engage her content like that um, because, you know, she she's doing her blog thing, but Lovely Aneka does... A lot of video, um, makeup and stuff. Wifey said, like, she was like, well, I don't really think that's your kind of thing anyways. You know, so please don't fault me if I don't sit down and watch um, makeup and get ready with me um, videos and stuff like that. Oh, no, that's said something probably wrong with me, you know, if, if I did. But anyhow, big up yourself and I appreciate you greatly and thank you for being a part of this family. BM is in the building. Great goodies. Mr. Article Don is here with us as well. Rosalind Smichael, first one in the building this morning. And the number is up 1-806-587-8953 if you want to call in live. Send me t-shirt here this morning. It's a bumbo cloth because it's a bumbo clothish kind of morning. We have some things to talk about this morning. Um, Let's start off with... Hmm. Let's start... I, let me see. Leona Bradshaw... You know, Leona Bradshaw um, breed behind bars. Okay. First of all, I've heard that this, let's say this is a rumor that Leona Bradshaw got impregnated by a police officer behind bars. Um, she is behind bars. We're talking about Leona Bradshaw, Philip Paul Wells' uh, significant other, the United States of America, U.S. military uh, personnel who flew into Jamaica and allegedly orchestrated the plan to get rid of Philip Paul Wells' side woman and his baby girl, right? We on, we on track? Same woman, Leona Bradshaw. So she is in lockup in Jamaica awaiting trial and in the meantime, apparently had sparked up a relationship with a police officer. We're hearing from different angles. We are here from one angle where somebody said, they're going to try hide it. They're going to try sweep it under the rug. But it is true. And you will hear more about it when it come out later. So, Flo. so me say, I'm going to tell my audience that that is what the streets are saying. Because I didn't confirm anything. And they have come out denying it. However, they are moving in a kind of fashion that makes me believe some of what we have heard. Right? All right. Police dismissed the rumors that Leona Bradshaw got pregnant behind bars by this police officer. Now, if, if, if you're like me and you think outside the box and you put one and one together, check it. The cop that is accused of getting Leona Bradshaw pregnant has been removed. That's one news headline out of Jamaica today. So if somebody link me and say, yo, so flow, you know, here what I go on with Leona Bradshaw. Dog, she breed. Yeah, as a squatty breeder. Yeah, you soon hear about it. And then, boom, news headline says, the cop who is accused of is removed. Hmm. And then they deny that 
she did get pregnant. Manali, there's a picture of her here. Uh, it has the Loop News logo on it, but she is in a, a, a mini dress, a white mini dress that is frilly frilly at the bottom. It's pretty short, whole leap of legs showing she is in handcuffs. She is being transferred. And I, 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 I looked at it, the picture and I thought to myself, this, this is <laughs> um, uh, pretty tempting for... Uh, let's be real. Me know Jamaica and me know my brother them as in an extension of myself, Jamaican men, right? Uh, a person like, you know, long legs and short skirts and all that. Somebody are going to be up to something eventually if, 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 if things are not monitored properly, if you know what I mean. So despite allegations that Leona Bradshaw, the accused in the murder of the 10-month-old baby girl and her mother, um, have been impregnated by a police officer while in custody. Police Commissioner Dr. Kevin Blake, which is our new police commissioner, by the way, says that investigations have so far revealed that this is not true. Let me put on my glasses. Let's get studious. What is not true? Is it not true that she is involved with a police officer behind bars? Or is it not true that she is not pregnant? That's kind of a blanket statement, right? It's just not true. Um, he was responding to a question during his first official quarterly press briefing as head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The newly appointed police commissioner also disclosed that the policeman who is at the center of this probe has been removed from the St. Catherine Station. Okay, so there is a police officer who is at the center of this probe. Hmm. So something is happening. So she's not pregnant by your investigations so far. Was a pregnancy test done? Who revealed? Who revealed that something fishy are going between Leoda and such police officer um, that made them feel the need to remove such police officer from that environment? Because they don't they don't just come off frivolous. We in the public space that's out here. We can't stay out here and say, yo, you know, here say, lay out a Bradshaw breed and I want police to do it. And they just go in there and randomly pick a police officer and remove him. That's not how it works, right? Somebody on the inside revealed that something is happening between Leona Bradshaw and a police officer in the area where she is being kept. Them emo went as far as she get breed. Now it got out to the wider audience and now they're like, yo, you better get a hold of this. Y'all better clean this up and I better fix this up fast. Hmm. I wonder if Philip jealous. I'm talking of Philip Paulwell. I wonder if he still has feelings for her. Like if him still love her kind of thing. I wonder. I wonder if him I say who touched my girl or who I breed who breed my girl. Or I wonder if I him going to go do it. Is she getting visitation rights? Um, has Philip Paulwell been there to see her? Or maybe he's staying away from her? I don't know. These are just questions I'm asking. Don't take me question them as statement. These are questions I'm asking. Is he still in love with her? Does he still care for her enough to go see her? They have a child together. They, um, this is still the mother of his child, even though the mother of his child allegedly killed another child of his and the mother of that child is a twisted situation weird weird uh veronica gill says that girl is a master manipulator hmm. the newly appointed police commissioner also disclosed that the policeman at the center of this probe has been removed from the saint catherine station bradshaw who is charged as the person behind the kidnapping and murder of Member of Parliament Philip Paulwell's daughter, Soraya, and her mother, 27-year-old Tashina Patterson, has been in police custody since October of last year. Hmm, that's quite some time. Since October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months. Seven months, no nookie. Mm, and then you get the cookie. I don't know. Bradshaw is charged as the person. And we heard the allegations, and immediately we commissioned an investigation. 
as soon as we heard these allegations. Who did you hear the allegation from? Did somebody of a lower ranking send that information up the ranks? Or did they hear the public space talking but it got to the public and then went back inside to clean up? This is very interesting. Me want to know. We also removed the officer. So accused from the station, but our investigation up to this point has not shown any truth in these allegations. Hmm. Has to be somebody from the inside, else they wouldn't know who to remove, what officer to remove. You understand what I'm saying? They would not know what officer to remove unless this was from the inside. So Officer Jones and Officer Smith is saying it's Officer Blake. So we know, okay, we need to remove Officer Blake. Otherwise, out in the streets, all they're saying is a policeman, Breedley or a Bradshaw, behind bars. We don't know who around there. We don't know their names. We just know the police officers are around there. Karen Notice says, I would hope that Paul Well doesn't still have feelings for the person who killed his daughter. Hmm. Let's take a call real quick. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Big bro. I'm glad you're not family. I want him. Talk to him. Hold on there. Oh, you sound so. Like your. Hold on. I'll fix that. I'll fix that right now. Yeah, please. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. One second. We'll fix it. All right. Yeah, hear me now. Loud and clear. Talk to him. All right. So, from my understanding, I think this is either yesterday or the day before yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Mm hmm. So, we've been. Trying to follow you, but you watch me, you know? Hold on, your, your phone. Oh, I'm to your phone, brother. I'll take care of a speaker. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So, from my understanding, mm -hmm. where me get this information from first, let me say, another, um, on the spot. Mm -hmm. I got this info from on the spot. And some I from one of the media hosts there in Jamaica. But me want to know anyway, how it come a road. Yeah, how it come a road now. Mm -hmm. So it's like some girl in there, they make, they make trouble. Like she, 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 she get special treatment. Because mm -hmm. from, from what they're saying, she was hospitalized and she did have some health issue. Mm -hmm. She had some health issue, so she had to get a special diet. Oh, so they're taking extra care of her. So... You know, other prisoners don't know, you know, a little other bad shot. So, you know, fear thing kind of little bit up. So, you know, we turn to Jamaica. We, right. we put, we start, we start, we, we rate off a status. Right, right. Yeah. So, two now, should that happen, and she get special treatment. The girl, the other is a girl, them car. Where she, where she, where she lock up is a, is a woman lock up. She lock up. Like a most women get all lesser. Right. So, that's how that come out. So, them, see, she get the special treatment. So them start to talk about it, and then now them say them say the the, the, the certain policeman would have come certain time my night move our girl and I want certain part I I station and she come back one I night them she come back and I say oh she at the time of her life <laughs> they don't know what that means. <laughs> so. <Oy. laughs> <laughs> so she come know. back. She come back. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> But, but, what may I say is, hell, we don't know where all this information come from still because <laughs> it was said that when she first get initial um arrested, mm -hmm. she was on her menses and them thing there. Brother, we don't know where people get them information from, brother, but we just have to tell her yeah, what yeah, the yeah. said. Yeah. So, <laughs> come out and you know what's a boy? She pregnant, you know, them up my finger for Mr. Big Man who always come at night time and gear the time of her life. <laughs> so, I put one and one in a two because at one point, they must say nothing no go so. Like the police, they must say nothing no go so. But now, if nothing no go so, why was the officer removed? That part. Right. See? What? Right. No, I me have a problem with this now. Put all fun and joke aside now. Um, so flow. Mm -hmm. A long time they something I go on. Do we know that? So what make this have to be a big news? But, but look at who, look at who though. So I understand a who, but a long time them thing I go on so flow and them thing, them thing I'm still not really and truly, you know. 
Yeah, true, true. Absolutely true. You're not supposed true. to fear me in a youth, but true, true. as we know how we black brothers, them steer. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But them something enough in a go on and, and somebody, somebody, people must hold accountable when them thing are go on. Serving I and hope, protecting. I hope they use this yeah, and, 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 and set the thing correct. True. Honestly. You true, know what true. I mean? Yeah. That's the policeman that must not get no front of him yet. Or, for, for or, it, for real. Ta, ta, get in the front is one thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you breathe it, brother, mm. you're going Pop, too far now, Jed. Pop off raw. Raw. <laughs> yeah, well, go on, brother. Bless up yourself with that. Manas body, here. Man, man. Well, you go and continue to speak. All right, yeah, brother. Manas. <laughs> yeah, what? Hey, what? Wait, oh, we should cut that off. My bad, my bad. Uh, if you want somewhere else to call back, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> We cut that off too quick. Oh, what happened in the darkness always comes to light. Um, boy, yeah, I see what um Veronica said. One of the girls in the prison who she speaks to, uh, that's the girl who talk everything. Another person said, yes, yeah, the other females are seeing it, so it's not just one girl, but it's one girl probably leak it first to higher ups, but it's everybody else around there. The other females are uh, have been seeing it. And some of them jealous because she'll get preferential treatment and these kind of things. You know how Jamaica is already. Yeah, that big man, uh, baby mother that still, you know, even though she died near upon a murder charge, kill one of them next woman them and the picnic, but it, it, it's still, you know, she have links. And they'll look at you like that, like you have links, and they'll treat you like that. We're just that kind of people. I just saw few things said. And she is a military service member from the United States of America, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. And yes, the U.S. military is also involved in monitoring her case. So if she gets sick, look a bit behind bars, they're going to have to. Let me tell you something. The U.S. military is monitoring her case closely as well. Reason being, she is a GI, government issued, meaning she is one of theirs still. She has not been brought to trial yet. She has not been found guilty yet. They won't try her. The U.S. military won't try her. The U.S. military will make sure that she is treated fairly. So in the process, they're going to make sure that none of her rights are violated as well. So if uh, it might look bad, like, for instance, if you have a, a Jamaican who is not um, just, just a regular Jamaican who is locked up in the same place, they don't have an advocate for them who is going to say, hey, she's feeling ill. She's been complaining of feeling ill, stomach ache, coughing, sneezing, wheezing, spitting up yellow stuff, blah, blah, for the last two, three days. Have you guys taken her to get medical help? Now, if a regular Jamaican I do that and you have no advocate for you, them in there in the lockup can say, move on, go and go sit down. Hey, girl, stop talk, right? Can dog you and talk to you any kind of way. In Leota's case, they can't do that because the U.S. military is still there monitoring. So they could be like, wait, oh, hold up, hold up. It's innocent till proven guilty. She has not been proven guilty. We don't care what you have. There has not been a trial. She has not been proven guilty. She is still awaiting her trial. She needs to be treated as such. If she has health issues, you guys need to make sure that she is taken care of, right? We don't want a punishment before conviction type of treatment for her. And they'll stay close for that. So she has that on her side already as well. Now, how many know that? Because I've been in the military long enough and I've seen soldiers get locked up both here in the U.S. and um, about outside of military jurisdiction and overseas. And that is exactly what they do. So, yes, yeah, she back there getting preferential treatment because she has the U.S. military to speak on her behalf to make sure that they're going to look through and they're going to constantly be checking in. Them not gonna just dash our way. Oh, you went to Jamaica and you got yourself in trouble. Bye. Handle that yourself. That's not how it works. And even after they are done, what they will do is they will allow Jamaica to do their thing with the case. And then once that is done and it is proven beyond a reasonable doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt in the courtroom, irrefutable evidence that, boom, she is the one, she did this, she is guilty, then the U.S. military will take its course and under the UCMJ, Uniform Code of Military Justice, 
they will then deal with her again in their way. So she have two court for go through. You know, once she go through the Jamaican stuff, she'll have to answer to the U.S. military as well. And this is how they will determine what kind of a discharge she will have. Is it going to be honorable, other than, less than honorable, et cetera, et cetera. They might figure deal with all the part they took, but they're not going to sit around and just have her stay there and be abused or anything uh, anything can just happen to her. So I'm telling you that right now. So she have back it him, so to speak, right? In her position, uh, position, no pun intended, but yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I hope I hope that's not true though. That a policeman go around they go actually really breed her for sure. But if something must be nice, him just rock and pop off in IT. And yeah, she she not in a position to grab no morning after pill or nothing like that. But they're denying it. They're denying it. The police commissioner has come out to say that as far as that goes, their investigation goes so so far. Immediately when they heard the allegations, he immediately commissioned an investigation into it. Their so far investigations have determined that uh, this is not true. However, the police officer who is involved has been moved away from that station to somewhere else, which tells me that a police officer is involved. Somebody was pointing fingers at a police officer who is involved. They, otherwise, them couldn't finger any police officer um, to move him. Why fit a finger a police officer there? to move him? But they found one, right? And he's been moved. Mm. Anyhow, moving right along. Thank God. Th uh, good morning, family. Condolences to you and your family at Dorothy T. Dorothy T has a debt in the family. Dorothy T. My condolences to you, my friend. I don't. I, I wasn't seeing it. Sad day today. My mom passed away. Oh gosh, your mom. Damn. You all wrap your arms around Darty T with some words of encouragement, please. Um. That's one thing I dread. That's one thing I dread. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Hello, call ended. All right, y'all wrap your arms around Dorothy T with um some words of encouragement. She said, "It's a sad day today. My mom passed away yesterday." Damn, my deepest condolences to you, my friend. And I know that those words may not be enough, but I mean that's all we can do or say, you know. How are you doing, Dorothy? How are you holding up? Let me see if we can distract you a little bit or bring a little bit of, I don't know, have you think about something else for a second. That must be like repetitively playing through your mind. That's like one of my biggest fear in life. You know, and not, not really that I fear it because I know it will happen one day because we none of us are here to stay forever. Right. But you see, when you have a mother and then you have a good mother at that kind of everybody have good mother, you know, but you see, when you have a good mother, she says, I'm not well. We're flying to the UK tonight. Hmm. Yeah, it's rough when you have your good, good mother and is your good, good mother pass away, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Life journey. Like, damn, me and my wife was just talking about this yesterday, driving back from uh, Atlanta. And I said, you know, we were saying, yo, you better make time for life, you know. You better make time for life, because life I got to make time for itself. You better make time to stop and smell the roses. You better make time to appreciate the people who mean a lot to you. You better make time to laugh and smile with those who are important to you. You better make time to fill your life with gratitude and happiness and stuff, because all the other stuff. Life is going to hand it to us, you know? And this is one of them. This is one of them. Out of your control, but you have to deal with it. May the most high comfort you and your family. And you guys were in the middle of planning her 90th. Yeah. 
and that was and it was her time. It was her time. As I always say, we don't know. You see that? We we making plans, but we don't know. Cherish those precious moments with your mom, Dorothy. Yeah, Senior Sexy says, and I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Mommy lived to almost 90. She lived a long life. You know, sometimes we wish them could have lived forever, not true? You know, I was watching this one program where the, 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 the person in the program, I don't believe it was a deity or something, but he had lived how many hundreds of years and became immortal. And I never thought of it like this because I always said, man, I wish I could live like hundreds of years. And he actually said, no, I want to die. But it's beyond my control. I want to die. So they asked him, why do you want to die? He said, you think you want to live forever until you've lived through many different life cycles like I have. I've fallen in love. I've married. I've had children. I've watched my children grow. I've watched my children give me grandchildren. I've watched my grandchildren give me great-grandchildren. I've watched all of them die. And then I, 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 I grieved from that, and I started all over again because I'm the one that can live forever. Nobody else can, right? And I start all over again from scratch and a new wife and new children and new grandchildren and new great-grandchildren, and they all die. And I have to bury each and every one of them. I watch each and every one of them go. At this point, I'm sick of this living forever stuff. I want to go too. Wherever it is that they've gone to, I want to go be there too. I don't want to do this anymore. So I was like, whoa, that's deep. That's deep. You think you want to live forever. You think you want them to live forever. But imagine everybody you ever loved dying and leaving you here with complete strangers. And then you here long enough to be able to start all over again and have to let everybody go all over again. So life cycle. Life cycle. And, you know, we have to live it. And that's what it's about. Huh. Jeff says at Dorothy, stay strong, stay strong until life is journey. And I know it's a difficult time right now. Cherish those memories and know that she loved you and she's proud of you. And the Flow family, we're here for you, sister. Try to keep her memories alive, Karen Notice says. Gone but never forgotten, RIP mom. My condolences. Jazzy lady, big up yourself. Anytime I get these kind of notifications, it make it so hard for me to move on to the next topic. But I know I have to. I know I have to. Safe travels, Dorothy. Because I know you guys are heading out to the UK, right? Safe travels. Right? And keep your head up. You know mommy was proud of you. Keep your head up. Keep her memories alive, right? All right, my friend. God bless you. God go with you. All right. We're going to get into a messy one next. Let me pull up. I know wifey sent me some stuff. Uh, that's my research person. All right, here we go. All right. Let's talk about... Let's talk about Agbani. I appreciate you very much, Dorothy. Dorothy T, I appreciate you very, very much. Alicia says, if it's not true, why remove the cop? Okay. Remember what I said? The person said they're going to try to cover it up. So me, I wait for see what will happen. And then they said they removed the police officer. So if it, you're absolutely right because that's my question. If not Nagoso, why remove a cop? And then it says the cop who is at the center of this. <laughs> that tells me that something gossa or something got close to gossa. But you know, um, DPP, Department of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn said, as far as this case goes, they're trying to keep everything under wraps. Like we, the public, is, are not supposed to know anymore of what's really going on behind the scenes and all these things. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are trying to keep... Imagine how embarrassing that does look on Jamaica. Imagine This is a case that is being monitored by the U.S. military law people as well. 
So imagine how embarrassing. Any little detail come out in this, or she was impregnated behind bars. It is not going to be looked at as she willingly got impregnated behind bars. I want you all to think about this. This is going to be looked at as she was taken advantage of behind bars because that's how it is. An officer behind bars is in a superior position, a position of power. So when you impregnate an inmate, the inmate is not seen as some kind of person who just, oh, had all their wits about them and went along with it because that's what they wanted to do or they uh, suckered you in as an officer. You're the one who is... It can be rape, Veronica Gale. Absolutely. She was taken advantage of. She is in a vulnerable position. So it's not going to, it's not, it's, I know nothing nice. We're laughing about it, but I know nothing nice. It's not, it won't be looked at as that. So this is actually something that is serious that I could see them being like, Jesus Christ, no, we have to cover this up. We can't make this get out looking like that. I mean, if you think about Jamaica's system, uh, it already has a big red X on it. It, are, it already has a bad look, right? One of the things that they came for Vibes Cartel for was when he did that interview with uh, Lisa Evers with Fox News. And they were like, how the fuck did he get, how did they get in there, get access to him to do that interview? Did you hear the things that he was saying about, because he was like, yeah, from a first-hand perspective, you know, I'm in here. Um, so where are you exactly um, located in there? And he was like, I'm not even in a cell. Like, I'm in, like, the attic of the building. You know, and it's hot up here and there's no AC. Um, you can hardly breathe and stuff. Listen, uh, one thing about America, you know, it's funny because you would think they would say, oh, you're a criminal. You had the time in a prison. Prison should be the worst. Nope. Your ass will get sued if a prisoner... Because prisoners still have rights. Under the Constitution, prisoners still have rights. See? So you can't, like, violate them in every or any kind of way. They can't be locked in a room that's 110 degrees in the room. They can't no water and no food or nothing like that. They can't be treated a certain kind of way. You can't have them in there and be like, oh, they're prisoner women. Nobody is going to care anyways. Let me have sex with that one. That one that look good. Let me sex this one. You can't do that. So there are still laws that govern and protect them as prisoners. So if she is in there awaiting trial and she ends up pregnant and by a law enforcement official, it's not going to be a good look for Jamaica at all. Could possibly blow up her whole friggin' trial too. Yeah. Rosalie Fair says maybe that's what Leota planned. It because she knows how it would look. That way she can get out earlier. Well, you are the officer, though. You are the officer. You are the officer. So no matter what a prisoner plan, you are the one who is in a superior position. You are the one that is sworn through oath to uphold certain laws, guidelines, enforce certain rules, regulations, restrictions. No excuses for you. So she could plan. Prisoners could plan all they want. You know what you have to abide by. Now, on the, on the flip side of things, right? Could she really be a master manipulator? Probably. Some people are. I've seen many times where guys behind bars get women, and these women are married out here. I just did a story on the other channel about two women in the UK that was, in the UK prison system. And then I think it was... When they replaced her, took her out of her position because they found out what she was doing, they replaced her. Guess what happened? Her replacement went and did the same thing that she was doing. You know you were getting replaced. Um, you know you are getting this position from somebody who was being replaced because of inappropriate behavior. They set up cameras. They caught them live. She was in there giving head to a prisoner and then... The, the full out, full on sexual activities, everything, right? And they let it go on for multiple times and they tracked every time they did it. She would move this one prisoner to different parts of the prison where she knew that the camera angles weren't. Like they tracked her and did the whole thing and they moved 
her out of her position. She got arrested for it, charged for it, put another woman guard in her place, and the other woman officer came and did the same exact thing and got the same charges that she got. So prisoners are sitting around all day. They have all day to plan. They have all day to think about, let me see how I should do this. Let me see who I should flirt with. I see, uh, okay, I tried, I tried flirting with Officer Jones, but Officer Jones won't give me the damn time of day. Let me try Officer Smith, because Officer Smith look weak as hell. It's not that they love you or like you. It's that they're trying to get their way, right? Especially on a charge like that. Charges like that, you're thinking I'll probably never get out of here. Let me have to do something. Let me go ahead and try to see if I can manipulate somebody in here. Probably have them bring in some contraband for me on a regular basis where it could I could have a comfortable stay more than how I'm here now. So they start, let me try Officer Brown. Damn, Officer Brown is hard. That man ain't giving me no time of day. Let me try Officer Smith. Wink, wink. Ooh, Officer Smith winks back. Every time I look at Officer Smith, he be looking at me. All right, let me see if I ease up my pants or pull down this here. So if he's going to look. Yeah, he always looking at me. All right, boom, I got him. And then they start working on that one person. I'm working on that one person. Could you bring me something, something, please? And you bring it and then them rub your hand when them I take it. And then, then the officer start has to be strong or the officer is going to break rules. They can violate the rules. They know where in the facility to go where cameras might not be. They know when, who changed shift, what, when how they can get a little five, ten minutes in, forget a quick nookie and send you back this way and all that, fix up and act like nothing never happened. She can plan all she want to, but an officer has to be an officer. Before we go into the Ivani, Ivani stuff, let's talk about Jamaica Carnival because it is along these lines. So, I don't know if you all saw it. I should, uh, let's hope, Okay, let's see. Let's hope that YouTube don't strike with for this. It's dancing. They have struck us for dancing videos before. This is just dancing though. Did y'all see the Jamaica Carnival? Did y'all see the two ladies, young ladies, girls that were dancing with the two police officers? Some of the reckless enough. Uh, why you why are you at carnival with this? Reckless behavior, reckless behavior. Them, all right. But the first one, the problem. Anyhow, there's just so much that happened at Carnival, but okay, here are the two police officers. You saw that? Them two girls with those two police officers, right? Um, It, it, it got pretty raunchy. It got to a part where... It got to a part where... One of the young ladies would reach around and grab the police officer's neck to simulate he's giving her a buckers while she's choking him from behind there. And see there? Rub him down. Hold on, pan him belt. Now, if you watch the video closely, you will realize that one of the police officers couldn't help himself. He has a full-on erection. This is on duty, right? We're talking about duty as it relates to, say, a police officer, a law enforcement official, a prison guard, etc. Somebody who is of uniform, who is supposed to uphold certain laws, right? And the other one, the one where I get choked and all that, him never stiff up in him pants or nothing. Me not watch man pants front, but it was obvious and the comment section is filled because everybody noticed that as well, what was happening here. Um, somebody says, I can't believe that the gun is not the most powerful weapon in this video. I mean, a lot of people are poking fun of it. Only way I run off on the mouth. Only did know so them can't easily tell them not to touch them. If them never did want it, them wouldn't allow it. Only can't come near me now. It's what one person said. Because you can't say nothing. Because everybody is like, Leave the police officer them alone, man. Them are regular people. Make them have some fun too, right? 
and on one one side of things, I'm like that too. I'm like, come on now, let the police officer them man take a one wine and everything. But when you're standing against the wall, getting backers and choke and feel up in your uniform and you're just standing at attention, I don't think I think that crosses the boundaries of your professionalism, right? So in this case, I saw actually saw Isaac Buchanan. Vibes Cartel's attorney say something like context matters. <laughs> he said context matters. When you see these two police officers, give them a five grand for me. Uh, and I forgot what else his statement said. But in my mind, I think he was actually calling them out. He was calling because, remember, I sat, said a line from a Vibes Cartel song completely away from the professional environment. He was on Andre's talk show. And he said, right, the line from Vibes Cartel's song that says, Paula, suck a dick. And he ended up getting brought to the governing body of his profession, of the law profession, and they ended up sanctioning him. And he could have also lost, well, could have also lost his ability to practice law, which is what the ruling came up as. However, they gave him an extension so he could go to the Privy Council to handle the Vibes Cartel case. Now, his case is still alive. I said Buchanan's case is still alive as far as that goes. So he's saying, in my mind, he's saying, okay, so I guess they have laws for some people, but not for all. I must maintain my professionalism at all times, on or off the clock, right? But these guys who are our law enforcement officials, they're cut so much slack. Oh, leave them alone, man. Make y'all wind up on him man, choke him on the job and all these things. Hmm. Would the guard in England move and tell them not to do it? Well, we're not in England, that's first of all. Uh, we're in Jamaica, dealing with Jamaicans. You know, I hate that too. I hate when people are like, okay, well, let's go overseas now and see what. If that's the case, copy everything that England does. And if we copy everything that England does, then Vibes Cartel's case would have been thrown out from the beginning. but Or it would have started over and had a brand new trial again from the beginning, which would have given way to these professionals coming in saying this was heavily tampered with, that was that, it wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have served all them years. Uh, so let's not only conveniently go overseas when we feel like it, right? Well, I saw I saw women whining on a police officer in New York, so I suppose it, if we do it in Jamaica, it's okay too. At what point do we draw the line and we say, we are we. We are us. We have our own set of thing that we live by. Because if that's the case, and we're going to always compare, we're doing what foreign does. All right, then. Well, let gay people be free and happy then. And let it be taught in schools then in Jamaica. And let the LGBTQ flag fly freely everywhere then. And let everything that they do in other countries be done. These countries we compare ourselves to. Take all those things too. You can't just take out some of what you want. Take everything. And, and be fair then. Because those all involve people as well. People who have rights too. You know what I'm saying? So let's convenient, let's not conveniently go overseas. A Jamaica with there, and we're dealing with Jamaica. All right. I don't think that it was professional of Squaddy to stand there and take the backers. And well, he was given the backers, but she was throwing it back as she was choking him and <laughs> rub dog in belly all the way down to him, chest down to him belly. All right. He could have easily said. Stop. Move along. Knowing you have to keep it professional. Or you could have just take a one wine and say, all right, go on now. That's it. And they would have respected that. But because they didn't say anything, the girls stayed there. It's carnival. The girls stayed there and they said, let me see how far I can go with this. Right? Me I wind up on him and not say nothing. All right? Me I throw it back and I look on him and still not say nothing. Me I reach around and I feel him up and still not say nothing. I choke him now. He still not say nothing. I rub him down. He still not say nothing. Okay. You know, it's one of those. So it was actually up to the police officers, in my view, to say, stop. That's all. Keep going. Or, you know, move along kind of thing. I bet your money, if it was one of the man them, 
Well, can you not see the bird man them? It was a lot of them out there. Yeah. It, it, if one of those bird men had pitched in front of them and start see himself flap him wing them, they would have quickly been like, yo, move fry us up. <laughs> right? So why they couldn't do it to the female? Was not saying it was right. I was just asking a question. I live through Erica TV. I know. And I was just making a point to Erica that um they had the right. The police had the right to say no, move along. They had the authority to say no, move along, but they indulged. And they indulged to the point where it crossed the professionalism line. One wine angle, uh, police are here looking for us or looking out for us, keeping the place safe. And they people. But feel upon, choke upon all them something there. And it, I, I, at one point, I actually thought these are not police officers. These are like, you ever see, I watch a movie and you see girls are getting married tomorrow and then, oh, we're having a girls' night out and them in a, some hotel room somewhere and then knock the door and then, boom, man, come in in a police uniform. Uh, good evening, I'm here to serve a, a, a summons for Mrs. Anita Baker. Uh, everybody goes, that's her. And then the man run over there and just draft him close in police officer uniform and start wind up in the room. And that's what I thought those were. I thought those were like men dressed as police officers didn't know they were actually real police officers. Cause I never think we would have seen real police officer get choked and back as a choke on him and all these things. But hey, end of the day, big up to them. They got it, they enjoyed it, obviously. Obviously. And that's what it is. So back to the Leona Bradshaw case. Professionalism is the responsibility of the individual who is in the uniform, not the individual who's out to have fun. So it's not Leona's business to be professional and maintain any professional bearing. She is now a prisoner or a, a detainee, and she will scam, con, do anything she can to have her way, to make her stay easier and have her way. Even to sabotage her case from where she sits. Yes. And out the road, the revelers are out. Them come out in a them skimpy outfit today to be seen. But the jaws clapping, bend over, wind down the place. It's carnival. So if police want to stand up there and take a piece of the wine, go right ahead. But remember that the revelers have no professionalism, anything to uphold. So are the, are the police them business? It's the lawman business. And I hope Leona is actually not pregnant for real. But if she is, it goes back to my question. I wonder how Philip Paulwell feels. I wonder how he feels just hearing this. Because it probably I said to him, well, uh, somebody might be clapping it behind bars. I wonder if he's like, send me the name of the police officer. Send me his name. I wonder if he actually has feelings for her still. I'm curious to know. Crystal G said, I think Paul will visit it and breed her. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Me wouldn't want no more picnic from she. Not after she kill off me picnic. I'm good. Wouldn't want no more picnic from her. But, you know, love is like that. Love doesn't switch off, you know, my friend. Love is like that. People may pretend love switch off, but love don't just switch off overnight. If you are in love with somebody, like in love with somebody, not pretending you love somebody, it doesn't switch off. Even when you're like, you know what? Done with you. Bye. Gone. You go away, go hurt. You go away, go reminisce. You go away, go go through the motions until you filter that person out of your system. But you can't just switch real love off like this. So I don't expect him to be like, I completely have no more feelings for her. Every time he looks at his daughter that they have together, he's going to think of, damn, I could see your mom's face in your face. And they've had good times together. And those memories are not going to just erase themselves just like that. Not Paul will breed. <laughs> Y'all be wild in this chat. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Hey, we're going to this, okay? <laughs> Next thing you hear tomorrow. So, Flo TV, RDC. 
uh, Paul will breed Leona and them will try to cover it up and say it's a police do it because he's a member of parliament and him have powers and they don't want to say it's him do it. We'll see how this goes. Let's talk about Ivani now. Let's talk about Ivani. So, Ivani's situation is pretty... Mm. Man, could I start off by saying this? I don't take no joy in talking about certain things when certain things happen to people. I try to actually do these kind of stuff to teach, but not only to teach, to raise some awareness. Yes? Remember, I keep on telling you all about the battery in your back. I don't make nobody put no battery in the back. Yeah. Ivani has a audience that loves to battery her up. And again, me and wifey, we were driving back from Atlanta yesterday. We had a long talk about everything. This was one of the topics we talked about. And, and we both said the same thing. This is almost like you have built a platform, but you've built a platform where the people will pay you to destroy yourself for their entertainment. See, my audience is not like that. This platform that we have built here at SoFlow TV, majority of the people that come here are mature-minded people. Whether them age up or not, they're still mature-minded people. Young people come here and be like, yo, I'm glad I came here. Yo, them start calling me Uncle Flo. They start talking to other people in the audience who start talking more sense into them, right? So we never build an audience where we could do dumb stuff and nobody is going to check us. I know if I do dumb stuff, my audience is going to check me. At least some of them. They might laugh. Some of them, but some of them might are definitely going to be like, yo, this not look good for you. Don't do that again. I didn't enjoy it. And I don't think that's where you should be going with that. And leave me with something to think about, right? Right. Looking at that audience, that audience looks like an audience that they will pay you to destroy yourself in front of them for their own enjoyment. I remember watching a video and I saw uh, Ivani say, yes, I'm going to mash up the car and so what and something like that. And I said, damn. Did she just say that on video? Like, you're you're actually making... Do you know that you're actually making evidence, recording evidence against yourself? Does your audience know that? You know? If somebody accused me of mashing up them car, me not come by us or come talk, but yeah, I'm going to mash up the last car, so what? Um, Recorded. Courtroom. Your Honor, here he is admitting... Play the video that he mash up the car, so what? And he did it on multiple occasions. And them happy to see you do that. Like, yes, girl, mash it up, dude. I mash it up too. I'm, I, I'm sorry, but me never want no kind of audience like that. Because those don't last. Right? I don't know why you get a quick piece of money, you get some excitement, people call up your name. People start saying, oh, you're rising in the ranks of the uh, online personalities, something, and then boom. In a bag of trouble. And the same people are now, well, she should have seen her herself. Yeah, she did. She never seen that coming. So I'm in Atlanta the other night and I saw somebody do a video, a guy that is very effeminate. I don't know who it was. I don't follow them. Um, it just came across and it says, he was like, yes, yeah, good up, good up. Ivan, yeah, she come out. She come out. She free now. So we're not going to say no. She pay her bill and she come out. No founder did one bad things happen to her. So when I saw it, me just scroll. With the mindset that, okay, she's out. And I had said earlier that her bond was set at $1,050. So I said, uh, oh, that's easy money to pay. Because I've heard her brag about how much she has made. So I said, that should be easy money to pay. And she's probably out. And I left it there. Only for her to be coming back yesterday and hear that that got revoked. The amount got increased. But then they have a hold on her. I'm like, damn. Are they making this up? Or is she out watching everybody talk about her? As reported earlier, Ivani initially received two charges. One for terrorist 
threats and acts which I went into the law book and showed y'all that those by themselves, those are the serious charges. And it clearly says in the law book, it doesn't, the person didn't have to demonstrate that they could do it and didn't have to even attempt to do it. Just the threat alone by itself carries a max of 20 years. All right. Uncle Sam plays different. One for terroristic threat acts and the other for criminal damage to property, second degree damage greater than 500. As a result of the new charges, her total bond has now been increased to 2,100 US dollars. And this was updated yesterday. Along with all her new charges and everything else, earlier the bond was set at 1,050 and that is no longer so. And she is not out. Now they're saying that she is on a immigration hold. The bond clearly says it has to be paid in cash or it has to be paid with property that has the equivalent value of this much. So wifey, I said yesterday, well, maybe she can't get anybody to go get the money and bring it. I said, that's not how it works in America. You swipe your card. If you can pay your own bond, you swipe your card, your debit card, your credit card, whatever. You pay your bond, you get out. Right, You're getting out on your own reconnaissance. It never says you had to be released to anybody. The bond is just up there. But when them said that, they said that they're waiting on ICE to come pick her up. I've also been told that her information, all her biometrics and everything has been sent to Jamaica. And they're waiting on word from the Jamaican authorities to give them a clean rundown of who this person is, what she got involved in in Jamaica, before she came, ended up here on their radar, them want a clean rundown first of her from the Jamaican authorities. I don't know if she's on no ice hole. This could be people just saying that, but what I do know is what I see in front of me, which I go off of. And that's um, the updated with more charges added, which is what I see in front of me. is more charges added to the charges that she had before. Now, that baby needs its mother. Yeah. Just like the children need their fathers. But ninjas never want to do good until they're in jail. Oh, God, when I get out, I swear I'm going to spend every night at home. I won't be running these streets no more with the homies. I'm going to be home with you, babe. I'm going to be home with you helping take care of our babies, raising the kids. You know, and as soon as they get free, it's back to the streets. Everybody always remember family and babies and everything after. Listen, when you are sitting in that cell, this is one of the most sobering feeling ever. It's a point where no, you realize then. Can you know when you try to talk to people and they're like, why well, you're not the way you have to say? Some people be like, oh, you a hater. Other people be like, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say, right? I'm doing me. You see, when you get put in one of them cells and you get to sit down and you realize that you can't actually leave when you want to leave, that's when things start getting really different. That's when your anxieties, you have to be quieting your own anxieties. I feel like you jump out of your skin. I'm sure Ivan is wondering where the hell is her baby at? Or even if she knows where her baby is at, is the baby being treated like how I would treat my baby? Crystal G said the baby is in Jamaica. The baby is in Jamaica. I saw somebody again. When you scroll these YouTube, these IG things. Yeah, that baby is on a plane to Jamaica right now. What is their situation? You can't fly a baby out without both parents... Um, First of all, you can't fly a baby out of the country without proper paperwork. And if one parent is not there present to fly the baby out, the other parent would have to be there. And there has to be notified paperwork. How I know? Because I do this. I take my children out the country and my children have different moms, right? So in order for me to leave with my children, I have to go get notarized paperwork. 
I have to get a letter from their mother that says, I, so-and-so, full name, residing at this, this, that, and the other, give full permission to Feminium, who is the father of the children, to take them to Jamaica, to take them to wherever, blah, 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 boom. And then we have to take it to a notary public. And the notary public has to verify her info through legal documents, government-issued documents, my info, and stamp them paperwork there. So you can't just be like, oh, me and you are fight today. I want to get lock up. Airport. Baby, jump on plane. Baby is on its way to Jamaica. So when I saw the person, it was a female, that said that baby is on its way to Jamaica right now. They're on a plane. I just scrolled right past that too, and I didn't repeat it because I didn't think that they could get that process done so fast to do that, right? So I'm mean, going think no baby that no, um, in no Jamaica. I think the baby is actually still here. Here's the thing. We don't know the relationship between the father and the mother. We're, out, we're outsiders, you know. We're spectators looking in. And people not always tell you everything. And online people, sometimes they hold stuff back for sensationalization of their situation so you can enjoy it more. Because they know say you love that toxic stuff. The mother and the father might be sleeping together every night, but for your sake and your entertainment, we're a toxic couple that don't really get along. I'm a mash up him car and feel like it if him diss me. I will fight a lot. I'm a call police pan him mommy, fling him out of the apartment. I don't need him when they're probably closer than that. And we could sit behind the scenes and be like, well, you know what they like. You know, we're putting on a show for them. The money coming in though. You know, we straight, we good. Put this much in savings, pay the bills. Take care of that. Let's go have a little fun over here. Blah, blah, blah. You may not really know them situation to a T to be talking on it solid. But I can tell you solidly that baby can't just up and fly out a country just so. Especially with both parents absent. That's like a no-go almost. Right? It's alleged that it's the father and it's new part his new partner filed the charges. I don't want to kick the girl when she's down here, so, but I don't know. You in Jamaica all them years and you never breed. I mean, no, you know how to not breed. As you reach a foreign, boom, you breed. And you're not even straight here yet. Boom, you breed. So was that baby like a part of solidifying your stay here? Was that the plan? Did you not want the father, but you wanted his DNA to help you to solidify so you can't say? Because listen, I'm old school Jamaican raised by old school Jamaican. So me, me know that route here. And I remember a time going by when a lot of women used to breed up soon as them reach you. Because that was on the list, right? Soon as you reach, find a Yankee boy, breed for him. Find a Jamaican or, or find somebody who a citizen, breed for them. Yeah, preferably somebody who born the door. Breed for them. Because once you breed, they, trust me, them not throw you out. Then we carry your eyes, then we lock you in, then we do everything, but they're always going to look at, well, who's going to raise this child? Well, if this child has its parents here already and she is not a criminal element, why send her away and separate the child? Or why send an American-born child to go live overseas when there's no danger to the wider public? You know, um, this, is a, a, this heightens your chance of being able to stay here permanently get your papers etc so they would breed like quick fast men don't know who press charges pa who i was told that the baby father is involved though and it was his property that was damaged <laughs> that's why she has <coughs> that's why she has that charge so the new paperwork look like this which i have right here The new paperwork look like this. Bond amount unsecured 1050 cash and property 1050 um Henry County Superior Court bond amount increased 2100 total bail amount 0, 0.00 Usually when you have total bond amount is 2100 and then you have bail amount is 00, zero I think it means that you can't get out. 
Why if you say it means that you have not paid any money yet? I think it means you can't get out. Because there's something else that's holding you from getting out. Bail revoked. Right, because something else is going on behind the scenes. Why that bail was revoked? So now you're on zero, zero, zero. Like no matter how much you pay now, you can't get out until this thing is done, whatever that thing is, which is why the rumor of, oh, she's on an ice hold. That's why it's starting to ring true to a lot of people because what else could they be holding her behind there for other than to sort out her immigration status, et cetera, et cetera. More charges pending. Harassing communications. She's got, she got hit with four charges now. Harassing communications. Terroristic threats and acts times two. Terroristic threats and acts, one. And then terroristic threats and acts at the Harris County Sheriff's Office. We don't know what that means. It could imply all kinds of things. And then criminal damage to property, second degree damage, greater than 500. Henry County Sheriff Office again. New terroristic threat acts and new harassing communications. Those are the two new ones. Even if she posts a bond, she will not be out because of the immigration hold. You know, people got to think, man. People got to think. But tell people this all the time, you know, America America is that place where, <laughs> and believe it or not, that's why so many people rush to be here. You know how them said, well, if everybody is running there, there must be something good about it. Well, there is. There is. You could really come here and make it. You could really come here and change your lifestyle. You could really come here, come level up. But you can really come here and freak yourself royally too. You must understand this place, how it's ran. I think America is like one of the easiest places to get in trouble and the hardest to get out of it. Correct me if I'm wrong. America is like the easiest place to get in trouble. You can't get in trouble for like anything here. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Good morning, SoFlo. Morning. I'm all up here, man. <laughs> All right, hey, family, yeah. um, I don't know if you have us on speaker or something, but you're not coming through oh, clearly. Yeah, 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 you know? Yes, clear, clear. Hey, my, my better phone. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, All you know what you do, so? Hey, I'm talk to me. Long time, long time, not going to still watch a show. See But, um, you know, sir, the, the, let me tell you, so far, you see in life, mm -hmm. the minority doesn't speak for the majority, you see, man? See. You see, I find the options. It's where the minority... Um, back your actions, you know. But it's the majority of us, we don't condone those actions, right? Mm -hmm. And you see, from Ivan to Jamaica, a lot of us who would have been on social media, you know, you never have to depend on social media, but you always hear this girl name in in things, right? Yes. Whether full page get hacked or whatever the case. I was, I, I, I took, I I took, wait, wait, not to cut you off, but I was just looking up all that. Can me go look up VR history just because mm -hmm. me I go do this. Go on. She, she never get shot, shot at one time, I believe. She get shot. Not shot at yeah. them. Shot yeah. her. She even got prison. Like that, and you know? she did prison time in Jamaica too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because she was off the media for a very long time. I remember that. Mm -hmm. But you know what I've realized in life so far? I see some human beings. There's no saving them. And you see, you see childhood in terms of how, how some people were brought up so far. Mm -hmm. It affects their adulthood. And I'm not saying it's an excuse for their behavior. Absolutely, though. No. But it's almost like when in adulthood, it is so hard to curb that behavior. It's not outside forces who can do it, you know. It's you yourself have to identify your problems. Right. And say, see, for the betterment of myself mm -hmm. and for my child, mm -hmm. I have to be a better person, not only for myself. Mm -hmm. The child that I didn't get, I have to give my child this. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't look at it that way. Mm -hmm. So you see, until I want to look at yourself and, and look at your situation and say, I have to be better if given a second chance. Mm -hmm. That's the only way she's going to save herself. Mm. Because enough people like to say, oh, America is the land of opportunity. Ray, 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 ray. 
contrary to popular belief, is still is still the land of opportunity. It might be hard, but you can make something of yourself. Yeah. That's why many people still want to come here. Yeah. It's just that everybody, when they come to America, they walk a different path. Some people get mixed up and mess up themselves. Some people work hard and achieve them goals, whether it's a house, they want to build for them family, or they want to buy a vehicle, or whatever the case is, or they want to risk becoming in a better environment than what they, they left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as we say, until she look at that and, and look at herself, there's no changing. And then the people on social media as well who who don't call her out for her behavior as well, them help on these stuff. Yeah. And let me tell you not so flow. You see, you see social media, you see them people do them foolishness. You see, the more you give them attention, the more you give them the platform for showcase them foolishness, they're not going to stop. Watch, watching, <coughs> watching how many women support her and tell her constantly that she figure go find new man for her baby and um, if I didn't mean like she and if I be like you girl and, and find new man for your baby like the girl, Ivani is young, right? Out of the blue, she have this baby. The father of the baby obviously wants to be in his child life. Why are you encouraging her? Because your life probably spoiled up already because you probably have multiple kids by multiple different men. Because you... Uh, misery love company, you know? Misery love company. So ain't nobody encouraging her and being like, boy, Ivani, listen, the best thing you can do is work things out properly with your baby father to where even if y'all are not in a relationship, that y'all have an amicable relationship for the sake of the child. If the child needs to grow up seeing a balanced relationship, knowing that his dad and his mom are at peace, even though they're not together, but they are friendly enough to where his well-being is the forefront of everything that they do, right? Nobody now hear them kind of talk there. You know, it's like, oh, find new money, I'm a girl, and... Get the pick new and new father, and like she is a, a, a almost an entity and not a person. To bring the same problems to that new man, right? So, so the the, the, the mashup on old bro, I go to a man where you know probably want something better for himself, and this is a problem I go take up on himself. Probably not even knowing our history. Come here, but you say probably next month you find even I know our history to that extent because so many of us know these sort of people that we, we, we date at times. You know what I mean? I watched the baby before that do a video. And the baby father said exactly that. See, me can't talk about when me don't know and I can only talk about what I've seen. I've watched the baby father did a video. Cause after me find out I have a picnic, I was like, let me go see how who she have picked the fuck out. She just referring, right? I didn't even know she was here. And I went and I was searching. Oh, them have problems. Wow. Damn. And it's all over the media. This look messy. And I eventually found this video. And when I found this video, the guy explained the same thing. He basically said, she gave my six for a nine. In other words, she came different. Like, and he was like, was talking that talk and walking the walk where he was like, Yes, this Mawat that one here, right? And then boom, out of nowhere, it's like two months into the relationship, completely different person and stuff. So uh, I mean, yeah. But, but let me tell you, you see, over the years, I've seen where many um Jamaican influencers, as we would call them, come to America, you know? Mm-hmm. And and they make use of themselves. They accomplish yeah. a lot of stuff. So I don't see the reasons why she can do that. She needs to stop self-destructing, but she just have to look into herself so far and realize, say, oh, I want life she have, and she cannot continue down this road of destruction. Because what people don't understand, when you have a child, I don't have a child, but my, my brother have a child, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and I, I'm smart enough to recognize certain things. When I have a child, it's not about you. It's about the child that you're raising. Whether as a single parent, mm-hmm. Or you know, two 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 family, two parent household. Yes, you're your own human being as well. Now you have to take care of yourself, you have to take care of your mental mental health and your physical health to be there for this child. Mm-hmm. But you definitely have to put that child first in terms of you're going to raise and nurture that child. Yes. But as we say, people use them circumstances and them environment as an excuse for say, me no know no better. Mm-hmm. So far, we are privy to information in 2024. Information is out there. Yeah, I like back in the day where I go. For those who want to bones, know. Forget, forget better yourself. Mm-hmm. Just go on Google and type, you know, how oh, me can curb this behavioral trait when I have like, how oh, me can really help myself? Mm-hmm. To see treatment. Come on, man. What for the better as human beings? What for the better as people? Now? You know, I, I, I truly, <coughs> truly, truly wish you all the best. But one thing we know about life is this, bro. We don't all get to that place of enlightenment because all the stuff you're saying is absolutely right. 
but it takes an individual reaching that place in life, you know, to where it is. And some people reach it early. You have some big, grown, older people out here, you know, 40s, 50s, who still 60s, who still haven't reached that place. And the same toxic behaviors, traits they've had their whole life, they just increased it as some mistake. And you have to go like, me take me home, me turn her door, left me alone. And they wonder why, you know, them, them are people scattered around, from around them like roaches. Oh, I isolate myself because I love being alone. No, it's because nobody knows they're around you. And the more and more, you know, they make excuses for their stuff. Instead of actually looking at and being, you know, sir, for the betterment of me and my life, I have to change this, that, or that. I have to work on being better at this, better at that. When you get to that place in life, that's that that's what we call maturity right but but not everybody get there um the same time you know some it's, it's different stages for different people some people do it early some people do it later on so she, i don't think she's there yet hold on there what i'm afraid of for her is that she's stuck in a cycle with her platform where if you know some people don't really want to see you do good be calm be intellectual change that rowdy something so if she starts being that her audience disappears because this is not entertainment for we we want to see when you get mad and angry and cuss out your baby father and tell me how you mash up him car and all that then we start sending you the gifts and the money and the money comes that way but if you start becoming balanced and becoming a good person or I, ah that boring. I'm gonna find somebody else when more toxic now when more it, so she might be stuck in that place where you know the money has to be coming in. And you, you know, you once you find an avenue for the money coming in, it's like okay, I gotta keep this money coming in, but then why if you act this kind of way in order to keep the money coming in? I think she is in that space. Uh, and I think her main target audience are Jamaicans, right? And we know the Jamaicans in which her target audience is, you know. Mm -hmm. And we can go in our character and we can tell you how we know them. They, mm. them love gossip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Send me twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so for, don't make a big difference stuff, you know what? <laughs> Why and it's hey, funny, it's funny, it's funny till it's not funny. Hey, but listen, we have to wish her the best. And yeah, man. We have to pray for that girl because she can make something of herself. All of us in life Absolutely. can make something of ourselves. And not, not people come from worse than Ivan and, and better themselves without Absolutely. the help of others. So in this situation, hopefully she can do some reflection and, and move forward with her life um, in, in terms of whatever the situation is, you know? Absolutely. Amen. Yeah, bless up. Bless up, brother. Yeah, man. Uh, just like we say, like Jack Yor, Jack Yor, our brother, we're not kick him when him down. Ivan, our sister, now kick her when she down either. But we take these things and we we speak and hope that somebody can take the sense out of the nonsense and say, you know, because somebody not talk to you the right way. Somebody ain't talk, somebody is not in your corner. You don't have a me in your corner. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a conscious mind in your corner who you play close enough who you respect enough to hear what they're saying. So maybe if we put these words out there into the atmosphere and y'all go look at it like, I chat them, I chat me, you know, maybe you're going to listen to what we are saying and hear. This is not a beat down. This is not a bad prior. This is not a hold down. This is hoping and wishing the best for you. Don't want to see her get deported at all. Um, Somebody also said to me that in, within the immigration laws, like the U.S. has the authority to for asylum seekers they won't send you back to your country, but they have the authority to send you to another country as well where they think you could be better suited. And that would have to do with the U.S. authorities working that deal out with whatever other country that is. Say, for instance, it'll be Canada. And they could say, listen, we have a young lady here. She's seeking asylum from Jamaica. We've we have seen a pattern of where she could possibly lose her life in Jamaica or get into way more trouble. She's trying to run away from all that. Right. She has stacked issues. So we're trying to look at angles to help her to be a better person. It's not working for her here in the U.S., probably because she's surrounded by some of those same types of people and some of those people who are directly from where she ran from. So how about we move her over to you and put her in a place where blah, blah, blah. Men don't know how that work, but that's how it was explained to me that they have a right to do that also. All I'm saying is 
I would hate to see her be deported, even though I don't think that they would. But then with the terroristic threat and the damage to property kind of stuff, that is where violence is considered. She's exercising violence or demonstrating violence. I've never seen them deport a mom before, though, like with a newborn, a child that was born here. I've never seen it. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of women used to come and make sure them get pregnant as soon as them come. But then that had died down for a while, right? So I've never seen them actually just easily separate mother from child or take a U.S.-born individual and say, go live in another country with your mother. So I don't know how her situation is going to work out. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning, SoFlo. Morning, family. How you doing? All right. Um, what I'm saying, you see, with Ivani, I think she's just troublesome, right? Mm -hmm. I've been watching her from Jamaica, from Shaq, people, Page and all of that, and I never was really into her like that. I, I was saying, you know, the things what she was doing, but then my sister, her growth, she, when she came here, she the one, she pregnant, she have hormones. I mean, I mean, excuse her, because she do some things where I think she shouldn't do it, and she says some things on, on the ear where she just incriminate herself. Mm -hmm. But me feel like sometimes I was the pregnancy arm one, right? When she go on at the youth, yeah, people on the line, I tell her, say, don't go there. Remember, you know, she had do this for life. Mm -hmm. So she had create evidence for, for herself. Mm -hmm. And that is not smart, mm -hmm. right? But she was pregnant. Pregnancy, no give the excuse. But you know, when man, the boy have another girl, and whenever the boy, the girl, the boy come over see her house, like the girl put up and post things and a taunt her. As you know, a young girl and all of that, them a fight over the man basically. Even if she don't want to admit it, mm -hmm. she jealous. Hmm. So she, she pay him by the five hundred dollar for the car, and then go back and press that again. She did pay for fix the car, but she break. But which them is such she broke it again. Already. But them such she broke you know it up again. But me never do it by life. I saw. Me not hear what you say. No, me I said after that, them said she broke up the man car again. Yeah, but yeah, she did. But she pee again. No, I saw. So no, but no, the girl, the terroristic threat, the girl, the press, press charge panel. You know when people are cuss and cuss, there's them same threat. She did not fear like I talk about anybody in a judge here where blah blah blah. I, I don't want to say it out against the baby father. Mm -hmm. Basically like a it, you know what I mean? I say? So I think that's what it is oh, with the terroristic threat. Oh, you no. know, she didn't mind with him and she has said, anybody out there where, you know what them do at Jamaica when, right now, what them do for make money? Mm -hmm. Some of them, the bad people them. Mm -hmm. So that's what she said over her life and that was wrong too. So me think that she, she for sit down and think about it with much, you know? Mm -hmm. And just, just think about it because I know she missed the baby because me see the changes since the baby came. I me see how she kind of change and kind of calm down a little bit. So that's why I kind of say, I kind of feel it for her. The baby must have wondered, where is my mom? Where is this feeling? This person where, you know, make me warm and treat me so good. Right. So I hope she change. May I wish the best for her. She's troublesome. I mean, not take up for her or anything like that. She do a whole heap of wrong things. But everybody have room for improvement and mm -hmm. she's young. That's all I have to say. Amen. I agree. Absolutely. Big up yourself. All right. Here. Have a good day. Yeah. All right. You too. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that's how we are going to leave that. That's all. Yeah. We wish her all the best, man. But she's in a tight spot right now where none of us can get her out of it. All we have to do is keep on looking. Okay. I've only, um, I've only probably like 20. I, I will guess because the last time I did check, she was like 23, 22, 23, them age there. And that was a few years ago. So I'm guessing she's about 27, 28, them age group there. 26, 27, 28. Somewhere in there. So she has to be um, 25. Okay, there you have it. See? So I'm guessing along those lines. 25. 25. Yo, me not lying now. Me I tell wife this again yesterday too. We say a brother talk, right? And yeah, him look like the aquarium drop on bus and one of them were flat up on the ground 
called the aquarium. But it, it, hey, to each his own. I, I don't really judge people upon I'm in a business where you do with your life and your orientation and blah blah. It's not my body part you're using to do it. Uh, fly your flag freely, my friend. Me over your sign on my lane. Anyway, he was talking about his experience about, about leaving Jamaica and trying to make it into the US. And him I talk about him go the same route where I was and he go. And him did I say, no, me don't know if it's true if she go that route. I don't know if she came on a plane or a boat or, or whatever or a spaceship. But the brother said, three times ago. And he's a brother we call himself Goody and slap him leg when he attack. And you know, like how woman carry on and lad and me, me, me listen for about a couple of minutes because the story did sound intriguing. Him said, Why three times him go? Him said, The first time them hold him, I send him back. Second time, third time, him said, Why this a third time? Yeah, me have to um, take a break. So good enough, but I try again no more. I have to take a break because Lord God, me traumatized. You want to say, traumatized, you know. Because the type of things them will happen to you and them hold him and them lock him up down there. And they must say, yo, US prisoner, I mean Jamaica prisoner, me go to jail of Jamaica already now. Nothing pan for them jail down there. So and how them pack up in there and all kind of things go on in there. So and then I watch a documentary about crossing and how it go. Even if you have your money in your hand, the man they will take your money and say, Oh, well, you know, your lip look like it can chupa some finger. Uh, turn around and see your body. Uh, look like you can take a backers and you, you have to just go through a whole heap of stuff. So especially a, a lone female going through. Now I'm just putting my mind in perspective like she brave no ass you know? Yeah, because if she see that, okay, my life falling apart in Jamaica, could I make it over there? Um, may I have to leave. And you actually make up your mind to go through that and do no me not brave so you know? I don't turn on my yard. I would have to be in Jamaica suffering. Because I do not do what them do. But she did it. And made it. That's somebody who really want change, man. That's somebody who really want a better life for themselves. Was willing to risk it all to get a better life for themselves. So at the end of the day, she might not be handling her situation right. But again, you know? You know, when you're young and just don't know yet... A lot of us, man, if we look back at our 20-something-year-old self, especially younger 20s, we laugh our ass off because we'll be like, look at you. And at that time, you really thought you had it together and you really thought you knew. You know what I mean? So I, mean, I, I, I ain't trying to hold nothing against her, man. And like I said again, I just wish all the best for her. But me know I say, was she there right now? No, no, we can't do nothing for her. Not the people them who encourage her all the time. Not the people who talk bad about her. Was praying for bad things to happen to her. Not the people them who are praying for good things to happen to her. None of us could help her where she's at right now. She's at the mercy of those people and whatever it is they want to do. For some reason though, I feel like she'll be out at some point. And I hope that if it does happen that way and she does come out, that she wise the hell up from this and start moving differently because this truly is the place where you can turn around everything in your life and make something we want to make something in our life to the point where another year or two down the road when people look upon her they're like wow like you've come a long way you've accomplished so much and i believe she can do it i believe she can do it because she's young and determined to, 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 to do that cross sitting there where she crossed if i saw she come she got it in her to do it she does have a heed to, 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 to wise words, you know? Just have a heed to wise words. I don't know. Keep better people around you. Um, switch up your circle. I don't know what you have to do. But heed to wise words. Now, our, our closing um, for this morning, our closing topic for this morning was... <coughs> A young brother from Jamaica lost his life here in Florida. Another young one. I'll show you his face in a minute. And his father is speaking out about it. Now, what's bugging me is the comments from Jamaicans who are saying, oh, um, I didn't know that those things happened in, in Florida too. I thought it was only Jamaica. You could go and get killed and all that. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. You see this place here? I see people giving out good advice. Somebody said, 
if you are from Montego Bay, Jamaica, and you are relocating to the state of Florida, stay away from Fort Lauderdale area, Lauderdale Hill area, around Deso. And if you have anything in a Jamaica, go on beef or anything, and a Deso you there, lift up from around Deso. That's the advice I'm passing on. And the reason why I'm passing that advice on is I frequent these areas. I don't hang out in them area. There. The reason why is because we are heavily concentrated in those areas. Now, I don't have enemies, but I kept it that way by not going into certain circles because I know what comes with it. Now, I'm going to tell the ones who never been, who keep saying, it's like y'all, you know, I wait for something bad happen so no can say, yes, it happened not far into. And it, listen, the state of Florida alone, just one state, the state of Florida alone is so big, you could fit a couple Jamaicas into it. This is what I want y'all to understand. Can we do a bit of teaching and encouraging and all these things? So nobody run from Florida and say, oh, things about Jamaica, so if I make it go far in, I go Florida. You could still come Florida. There are parts and places in Florida where we are ducked off at. We are living fine. No drama. No big crowd. No bag of friend. No, no, nothing that go on around you. Right? It's the places that you go in the state of Florida. Let's take this phone call real quick. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Good morning, SoFlo. Good morning, family. How are you doing? Okay, hanging in there. I was calling about the dentist. Oh, yeah. You have to hit me off air for that. All right, groovy. I will. All right. Um, I love your show. Just hit me at SoFloTV at gmail.com and I'll send you the info. Okay, groovy. All right. Take care. All right, have yeah. a good one. You too. All right, we're not going to take no more phone call. We're going to do that speech here and go into that story here with the youth here and call it a day. I'm encouraging my brothers and sisters from Jamaica, especially for those of us who, you know, you want to let go certain, certain people, certain things, certain circles, certain... You go to Fort Lauderdale for fun. We go down the south, we find a good party, fire links them are players, um, whoever else a player, matter and whoever. We have a good time and we oof, left right out of there. It's about who you choose to be around. That's why Jamaicans are coming here and getting killed by their own friends here. So you don't have nothing to do with America. Okay? It's not an American that come kill you or somebody who you come associate yourself with. With that said, we're still on the same old keep your circle tight. We're still on the same old weed out the snake them out of your circle. We're still on the same old productivity and progress. Up, up, up. Yeah? Because that we deal with. Now, there, and, and may, I, may I remind you that there are lots of Jamaicans in the state of Florida who are businessmen and women who are in positions of power. I'm talking within law enforcement and government. And there are lots of Jamaicans who are flourishing in the state of Florida. Them in a no baga baga. Them have them job, them career field. Them they are going to school. They're doing this, that, and the other, uplifting themselves. It's where you choose to fit in, where you will fit in. This story kind of break my heart. I'll show you his face before we talk. So we put a face to the story. This is his face. Right? Another young brother gone. Uh, worse, them said gang warfare broke out from Montego Bay, reached Florida, and it's concentrated in that area. Just know where you are, and know who you are keep around you. A father of a Jamaican man who was gunned down in, Fort La in Lauderdale Lakes in Florida, which is in that area, on Sunday, this Sunday gone, he was reduced to tears yesterday as he remembered his youngest child and his reluctance to send his child to the United States of America. That young man I just showed you his face, his name was Shakif Brown. He was 27 years old and he died in a Florida hospital in the aftermath of a gun attack on Sunday. His attacker 
was also shot and his attacker also died. Him shoot him attacker, him attacker shoot him or who is with him shoot him attacker. So them dead, him dead. This is according to US news media. Both men were actually reportedly really, really good friends. And then things went sour. The Broad County Sheriff's Office said that it received a phone call around 11.05 a.m. about shots being fired at the 3000 block of Northwest 41st Street. Neville Moses Brown, Shakif's father, he spoke to Jamaica news media house The Gleaner yesterday from his business establishment in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. The man said, I'm a heart, I'm a soul that, you know, my heart and my soul that a Friday, him send a money, come give me. And if you talk to him in the night, Brown said tearfully. He said that Shakif was the youngest of his three children. And me pamper him, and me grow him, and me carry him go school and everything. Me never want to send him go foreign. Brown said, adding that his son migrated from Jamaica at the age of 10. He told them that the deciding factor was when Shakif was diagnosed in Jamaica with a learning disorder. And he said, all right, maybe we can get more help overseas. We carry him go to Michael and them assess him. And they said that I should carry him go to school of hope. And it was at the same time to take him to the medical, to his medical. His mother was worried about him. And me said, well, maybe he could migrate since they in the U.S. supposed to have better experts. But at that time, a mistake. Brown said his son was diagnosed with being bipolar. And that he was told what would likely happen somewhere down the road. Them say if him go up on the good side, him would be a genius. But if him go up on the bad side, him would be a dodos. Dodos. So them tell him in Jamaica. So I'm saying better him son leave Jamaica and go get help overseas. He said out of concern, he sent the assessment with Sharif or with Shakif when he migrated for them to come to the U.S. and get some professional follow-up. Shakif got in trouble with the law while he was living in Florida. But his father was optimistic because he began to show some change and started a family of his own even. Him conscious see him way, you know. But him have a time when him not take the medication, you know. Him have the Rasta mentality. I wanted to check attorney Miguel Lauren because me I say that's the only way me I go save my youth. Brown said, adding that he wanted to make a connection between Lauren and Dr. Johnson, who visited Jamaica recently. The Gleaner was told that Shakib's mother survived a gun attack several years ago in Florida in the nightclub. And Brown, who was in New York at the time, said that he watched the reports on CNN. Multiple persons were shot and injured. And the shooter fired indiscriminately. So it wasn't like his she them did come for. The shooter in that incident was killed by the nightclub security. Shakif's aunt, who was also on hand, she was too distraught to speak on the record, and she just kept breaking down in tears. Brown said that it was her wailing that he heard when he arrived home on Saturday that made him instantly realize that something was terribly wrong. He had no idea that Shakif had met his demise. We go buy ice cream, and I heard her pan some cow balling. And I said, I wonder if our daughter something happened to. So I see some youth run go over here and come back over there, so. 
and them say Shakif dead, you know. Mr. Brown is a retired sound system operator. And he said that he was just stuck, frozen, tears just rolling down his face. He said that he had hoped after learning soon thereafter that Shakif was in the emergency room that he was going to make it through. But me never have no hope again. Me feel it for my boy. Me feel it. I feel my boy that you know, man. If me did talk to him Friday, me no know. Maybe he would have changed his mind in my conscience. Him do him journey. A film short journey that. It was a short journey. Though, because me and him enjoy little life still. He said that he recently wanted to renew his passport so he could visit his son and help him get the treatment that he deserved. Me not left him, man. All when him a big man. And him come a yard ya. Yeah. And me and him out a road. And me and him dead eh. And him said, Daddy, me all right, you know. And me said, no, nah, man. And me and you. You know. Me don't know when me I go recover. The Broward County Sheriff's Office is actively probing Sunday's double shooting, which has left an entire community on edge. Apparently, the story is that he confronted his friend, he pulled out his weapon, his friend pulled out his weapon. His friend shoot him up, him shoot up his friend. The two of them dead. The friend died on the spot, he went to the hospital. His dad was hoping he would make it when he heard that he was in the hospital, but shortly after, he passed away too. Vicky Victory. Good question. I don't know them personally, but I was told that, yeah, he was a bad man. He was into things, put it that way. Because I see a lot of people in the comment section saying, somebody said, I've known him since he was young. Sweet person. God bless his soul. Another person said, long time in Nola, Utah. And Although it bad what happened to him, we can't act like he's a good youth because we know where him do and how him get down. Looking at what was said to his father, the diagnosis they gave him in Jamaica, if he ended up on the right side, he would be a genius. If he ended up on the wrong side of his bipolar, he would be a dodos. I don't know why them said dodos. But dodos is a notorious leader gangster you could put the rest of pieces together if you took it that way and it was under this post that I saw a lot of Jamaicans had a lot of bad things to say about Florida don't go there that's what the whole heap of Jamaican them pack up especially in the area that this happened to him so I'm taking the time to tell my Jamaicans that Florida is lovely it's close to home. I jump on that plane. Me reach Jamaica in a one hour. Slippers and socks if me want. Don't even have to pack nothing if me want. If you enjoy that, and if you are here to work hard and build a good life for yourself, it can happen here. The weather is nice all year round. We don't shovel snow. Just stay away from certain pockets. The state is huge. You can't fit multiple Jamaicans in it. That's how big the state is. You can go to any part of the state and progress. All right. With that said, manners and respect to each and every one of you. I send out my condolences to his family because he had a bad offset. He was diagnosed bipolar from a young age. So with, with that, and he migrated at 10, right? And, and it just got worse. So, so with that said, he, he, had it, he had a bad thing coming all along uh, without getting the proper help he needed, etc. My condolences goes out to his family genuinely. There's nothing more I can say, but learn from this, you know. Matters and respect to everybody tuning in. Have a wonderful day.
big up on yourself. Shout out to uh, our sister who lost her mom yesterday. Y'all continue to sell, send her best wishes and these things that rough. Losing your good, good mother is rough. All right. So y'all continue to wrap your arms around her. Continue to make her feel loved and appreciated and these things comforted in these times. It's life journey. And we will all walk that journey. Right? Today for you, tomorrow for me. I just saw the thing go. We'll catch y'all tomorrow morning right here. God spare my life on Morning Thoughts. I'm out. Peace.